Hi folks and welcome back to my channel and uh, first of all let me say thank you very much for all the recent likes and comments that you've given me and uh, also thank you for all the new subscribers too currently on 425 which I'm really pleased with thank you very much indeed uh, today I'm going to show you how I recreated Phil Collins uh, 1980s hit Take Me Home which I recently loaded onto YouTube and just going through the basics with you to start with the tempo is 119 beats per minute it's a standard 16 note uh, per bar uh, sequence and most of the sequences are made up of four bars so let's just uh, run through the sequences with you to start with so we've got uh, this the song is I've got it made up of four sorry five different sequences and when I refer to the sequences, just to clear up something for, that uh, seems to be confusing some people with, with the way I, my terminology, um, a sequence as I refer to it is stored on these favorite buttons, which are accessing the memory slots over here. So we're currently uh, on memory slot F29, and that's set up on favorite button uh, here on number 11 of this particular bank. And we've got five of these sequences so this is the drum sequence then we've got the verse and then we've got the lead into the chorus and then we've got the chorus itself turn around at the end back to the chorus and then back to the drum pattern so let me try and break down this drum pattern for you to start with um, it's made of quite a, quite a few um, it, uh, drum instruments uh, the drum kit that I'm using is the 808 and 7x7 seven seven kit 1 and I'll just show you the notes and whether you can see that at all these are the notes that I've written down for it because it's quite complicated um, so let me start off by just run it and we'll turn everything down Okay, silence. Oh no, we've got one more drum there, just get rid of that drum. Um, right, so it is actually um, it's using all 16 notes of bar one and 16 notes of bar two, which are then repeating. So I'm just gonna turn this back into a two bar, um, two bar pattern. And There we go, two bars, enter. So to, to begin with, we've got the rim shot. And we've got a bass drum. So bass drum one appears on position one. We've got a clap. We've got Tom one. Got Tom three. Got Tom two. The, uh, 
hear tambourine sound is appearing on position one of bar one. And position one of bar one. And we're going to bar two. It's on positions two, one and two, and then 14, 15, and 16. Okay, so that's the drum sequence. If anybody would like to see this written down, I could probably try and write it down and um, into some sort of tablature form, if anybody would like it. Um, okay, so let's go to the second sequence. So this analogue sound is the toxic bass one shifted up three octaves and it's basically playing it's playing those notes there on this this type of pattern. Okay, so that's that one. And then we've got the vibraphone sound as well, which is coming in. So it's playing these notes here, G and E flat, F and D. A flat and E flat and then E flat and B flat. And then we've got the strings on top of it. The vibraphone is actually uh, called vibraphone one and the strings is D1 is hybrid strings and the strings are basically playing the same as the vibraphone. same notes. Over the four bars, so starts on the beginning of each bar. And then we've got the next sequence, which is the lead into the chorus. So the analog and the drums are staying the same. Um, so the vibraphone is going. So it's basically playing uh, the E flat and the B flat, E flat and A flat and G and E flat. And the strings are following as well. But played up here. I think I did play and play it an octave down as well, so it, it sort of thickens it out a little bit. But doing this with a handheld camera is not possible. <laughs> I just can't reach with all the uh, all the keys. Um, then we go into the chorus. So if we just isolate that, because the, the drums and the analog synthesizer is staying the same. So 
so it's playing these notes here, G and E flat. Then F and E flat, and then E flat and B flat. And the strings are playing exactly the same. And then we've got this turn round right at the end. Let's have a listen to the vibraphone on that one. So it's playing these notes here. We've got A flat, C and E flat. And then we got C, A flat and F. And the strings, what we got for the strings. So we've got B, sorry, G, B flat and A flat. And then we've got C, A flat and E flat. So G, B flat, E flat, A, E flat, A flat and C. sequence for it. In the finished one I did actually add some more drums onto it using the um, multi-track recorder I've got here. I actually layered these um, slightly heavier drums um, which we've got. It's just using the rock kit and uh, the drums sort of sounded like this. Just to uh, heavy it up towards the end of the song. So that, uh, if you've got a multi-track recorder or you could maybe experiment with doing that yourself, um, that pattern. Um, I won't go into it too much. <laughs> Running out of time on the camera. So thanks very much for watching and uh, hope you enjoyed that. And if you'd like uh, any further breakdowns of any of my videos, please let me know. All the very best and bye for now.